Well, it's time for dinner. When you're busy, you're on the go, you probably tend to go into the drive-thru or that fast food restaurant. So we brought in Toledo's biggest loser dietitian, Nathan Drendel, who's also with ProMedica. And we've got quite a few choices out here for dinner. Some bad, some good. Yep. Tell us, you know, what makes it a good choice and what's a bad choice? Again, we have ca fast food, casual, and sit down. Fast food, we're looking at a McDonald's, not so good meal, a five piece <laughs> chicken um, select with fries now, and a sweet tea. Now I would have thought tea. the bigger pieces of chicken on that were good, but it's the breading? It's the breading and obviously they're deep fried, plus you have their <laughs> magical french fries um, and the sweet tea. You're looking at roughly, if you consume this, about 1200 calories. Wow. Um, 57 grams of fat and from the sweet tea about 45 grams of sugar. Mm. So we're not we're not sitting too, too well here. We didn't even talk about the barbecue sauce yet, so okay, <laughs> right. now what? And here we have a premium grilled chicken sandwich meal with a side salad and a low fat balsamic vinegar and a Diet Coke or a water. iced tea, water, okay. something that does not have the calories because we don't want to drink our calories. True. This is a choice my children eat all the time because it's between games or whatever, they're picking up a Subway. What's a good choice for them? All right, here we have a 12 inch um, turkey breast sub, which is a good choice, and a six inch chicken bacon <laughs> ram sub. <laughs> That's the okay. one I was going to love. <laughs> now that one, you're looking at a six inch and you're at about 570 oh, calories. no. 28 grams of fat, 10 of those being the heart clogging saturated fat. Not that I love. But if we want, and this could be two meals or if you're a big eater like I am, you could eat, easily eat this and this is only 460 calories. So it's twice, or it's more food, but less calories. Right, I see there's a different choice in bread too. Right, we have the honey oat, which in my opinion is Subway's best bread to have, mm. and this is their Monterey cheddar, I believe bread, which <laughs> isn't the best uh -huh, choice. But this so. is a great choice. Okay, so what about Bob Evans? I love to pick up their food to go, and this salad right here is one of my favorites. Yes, that's their <laughs> wildfire salad. Uh, just the salad with the dressing, you're looking at about 1,000 calories, about oh 950 goodness. calories, 51 grams of fat, um, not the best choice. You do no get some protein. <laughs> yeah, you get some protein with the chicken, but again, as you can tell, it's the fried chicken. Yeah. Go with their heritage chef salad. Okay. Um, you have some ham, bacon, eggs, and a low fat um, raspberry vinaigrette. Excellent choice. About 450, 480 calories. Another there. huge portion, I again, think. Again, yes. Um, and I'm pretty lenient because you're mostly vegetables here. You got to watch with their cheese portion because that is a little bit more okay. than an ounce of cheese. So when it comes to how much is too much, it looks like some of these fast food choices are not so good, but we always can go to something that's better for us. You can, there's always going to be an option, or like you've mentioned before, cut it in half. Take half home right away, you're good to go. All right, good to go. You heard it right here, everybody.